Hello everybody, my name is Demon Eye, and today we're here with a Rocket Rush. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to lump this Rocket Rush together with EMP Rush or not, which are two separate-ish, but ultimately pretty similar uh, rushes, so I probably will. But uh, as is normal, let's start off with some, uh, you know, commander's uh, suggestions. Number one is Seep, because... These are rockets, and he is everything rocket and missile-like. Uh, number two would be Firebird, because with the amount of projectiles you'll be firing, fire is pretty nice. And uh, number three is a tie between Hurricane and Overdrive, as faster weapon reload speed is um, pretty nice for a lot of output damage, while more uh, resources is pretty nice for... Uh, you know, sustained firing, and also the upgrade in, uh, speed increase is pretty nice too. Um, I will be going with Seep, and I will be going with probably one of these two for uh, the multiplayer section, because that's just generally synergizes well with multiple teammates. But uh, for now, let's get into it, and we're off almost immediately. Now, uh, this is, has a general like the same thing with most things. Uh, you put down, you know, a mine, then you put down this guy and everything works out fine and dandy, all that. Um, and then uh, that's really where the EMP and Rocket Rush split off. Rocket Rush, um, well, first, let's get a space for some turbines. Go in here. And um, let's build a space for EMP rockets. Uh, you want a space? Usually if it's two grid spaces wide, uh, dragging it down till it's 255, but I like to go to 260, or, you know, somewhere around there, just to be, uh, safer, I would say. Because, you know, don't want it to be just short. Like 58, that's close enough. And, um, yeah, because sometimes also it's not, um... It's not perfectly two grid spaces wide, so it's kind of impossible to really know. But uh, now that we've done that, uh, we're going to connect down here, because on this map you kind of need to uh, connect down here to get really much of any resources. And I like resources, so we're going to do that. I'm also going to set all this to uh, background, so this turbine gets some power. When this is done, boom, it go is going way faster now. And um, EMP rushes would put the EMPs down first, or the rockets. But a rocket rush, which is what I am doing, goes for the upgrade center next. Because uh, we're not going to be launching much uh, rockets. We might be launching some, but not very many. Because the point of it is to get to rockets as fast as possible, and shooting them does cost resources. A minuscule amount, true, but uh, 800 energy and 20 uh, metal will stack up eventually. For instance, five firings of this is 100 metal, which is, you know, half of another one. I forget the upgrade price, but I'm pretty sure it's, you know, close to that. Now, uh, we are actually going to fire this guy simply as a form of suppression. I don't know why I didn't sell this guy earlier. But yeah, EMP rushes, uh, generally, what you want to do is uh, just suppress the enemy to let you build up to the uh, rocket rushes. It's slightly slower, I would say about... 30 seconds-ish slower, but, uh, it is slower nonetheless, which, you know, is not enough if you're going really, really fast, which is why I tend to go with a rocket rush, um, also the other thing with the EMP rush is it kind of tips them off that, hey, this guy's going with rockets, you should probably build a bunch of anti-air, and go figure, uh, we don't want that, we don't want them knowing that we're doing anything. So, uh, we're not going to tell them that. And now, boom, two rockets. And that's a lot of damage. We already got some core damage off there as well. 
I'm actually going to get more energy storage because, uh, as you guys will find out very soon, uh, this is quite an energy intensive uh, thing to do, and for some reason I can't store that. I'm sure it's fine. And, um, we're getting loads of damage right here. Uh, we have Seep's ability, which we will use in about now. Because, um, put it simply, that makes the rockets go faster, which means, hey, look at that, he's got the same thing as us, and we don't have any defenses for it. Unfortunately, he shot at the wrong spot, because, hey, look at that, we're gonna explode. And for some reason, those did not collide. That is kind of surprising. Because you know what? That's fine. Because they don't need to collide. And seeing as we're uh, pretty disabled at the moment, I think it's a good time to start upgrading our turbines and uh, possibly getting some anti-air, which is uh, always nice. However, um, this is actually a pretty good rocket rush because this man right here is shutting us down quite hard which is why we're gonna have to shut him down but we can't really afford that so we'll just have to uh, pepper him with rockets until then and of course he's gonna shoot that out and you know what i should have sp spent my time uh building up the black head. But hey, we won anyway. You know, 5 minutes 43, because even though he was suppressing us, we already had enough momentum to uh, grind him to dust, I guess. So, um, you know what? That was fast. We'll do the EMP, and um, if it's fast too, then I'll stick it in the video. Otherwise, we'll just go on to the uh, multiplayer section. So, uh, I'll see you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you're going to see this or not, but we are going for uh, a, uh, what's it called? I already forgot, EMP rush. I literally just finished the rocket rush, and I already forgot. Uh, as is necessary, or normal, uh, selling metal to get these fa to get the uh, technology faster, also placing a mine and then technology, you know, general stuff. Getting shot at, you know, more general stuff. Putting this down to 260-ish. Putting this one down to 260-ish. Putting this one down to 260-ish. Uh, let's brace that a bit. Get some uh, energy going, because why not? And uh, soon we'll be connecting to the ground, and that will be pretty nice. So let's go there and... Bada bing, bada boom. We are solid. Things are looking great. And boom. I'm actually going to sell that man and this right here to get a mine slightly faster. Because I'm greedy. Now that that's up, um, the thing with EMP rushes is uh, you tend to go more eco side because... Um, you know, you are, it's not that much different from a rocket rush, but it is s at least somewhat different. So, uh, that's all that really matters. And, uh, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you do tend to keep, uh, a EMP rocket unupgraded, just because. Now, um... This guy, I uh, don't know what he's doing. He might be going for the same thing. And if he is, good for him. Because I'm doing it faster. Let's uh, aim this one a bit lower, but not too much lower because it is in fact lower on the base. We'll fire lower, but um, we can also send this out and bada bing bada boom. We're suppressing. Now we're 
now we go and get this and uh, we fire that. We fire that when it's up. And we fire that when I have energy. Again, these are pretty expensive uh, to run. Mostly because of the high uh, reload rate. But, uh, we'll get through it. It's fine. Now you guys can see why, uh, what's his name? Ah, uh, Overdrive. You can see why Overdrive's good, because we're running out of anything. We're being bottled up. But, uh, there's not much this guy can do that he slowly build a, uh, energy empire. So I wouldn't call it an empire much, as, uh, it's a bit more better than that. But uh, it is, however, destroyed, and much like a British Empire. So uh, I think that's fitting. Also, it seems we've destroyed their door there because of the sheer output of damage. But uh, yeah, you can see why uh, even the small resource cost of these is enough to uh, still be substantial. Because it is quite substantial. However, it does let us uh, get our ultimate very fast. Well, this isn't much of a cheese strap, I would say. More of a, uh... Well, gee, I don't know what to call it, other than really fun. Because, um, it is comical to watch them try to do something. Now, a key to this is getting a good spread of your EMP. Because, um, you know... Generally, you want, uh, a lot of things. Almost all the things, even. Uh, to completely disabled because it just makes things easier that way. So you'll notice sometimes when these are reloaded, I'll wait a bit before actually firing. And uh, yeah, we just keep doing this for a bit. It seems this firebird has in fact fired on us. We'll just keep shooting at him. We'll die eventually. That is, however, not the goal, because these things don't actually surprisingly feel much easier. The goal is to get that down without really breaking fire. Um, this one does take a lot of uh, effort, I would say. But uh, other than that, it's quite simple, actually. See, so we got there. I'm looking to make sure, and there. So we just need one in there, and we're getting there. So yeah, we have a pretty even spread. Maybe the bottom might be able to fire, but uh, he's not really putting much there, so I'm kind of fine. And now that that's been fired, are we going to upgrade it? Oh, I guess we won. Oh, yeah, that's going on in the video. It's six minutes. Um, generally when your opponent is not an AI, uh, they will put up a slightly better fight. Uh, the, the goal is, of course, to let them not be able to, because you're suppressing them out of existence. But when that happens, um, usually around the six, maybe the f six and a half minutes, so I was a bit early on that. Uh, you kind of want to upgrade this. But the whole goal of this is to suppress them so much they can't do anything, and then build up like a really beefy defense or a really strong offense. Either way, uh, it destroys them. And either way, my name has been DDI, and you will see me on the multiplayer section of this. Adios. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, the fun part of the episode. You know the one. And, uh, no metal needed to be sold this time. I actually got extremely lucky here, I would like to say that. An actual 4v4 with, you know, people on each team. That rarely happens, especially when advertising no mods as I was. So, um, shout out to, uh, these gamers here. Wrong button. Um, I always try to... I forget what the key is, but I'm not gonna do it. Now, I am, of course... Not of course... I am going with um, a rocket rush, 
as it was the faster of the two last time, and uh, I feel it needed uh, to be showcased. Now that's one rocket platform. Two rocket platform. Three rocket platform. I actually remember this map fondly from, uh, I believe it was Blitz, the YouTuber. He's the one who, uh, I guess, introduced me to the whole forts thing in the first place. Uh, now, I hope this guy down here doesn't really mind much. Uh, I'm going to steal his resources, and by that I mean his space. And apparently someone just loaded in. Oh, and this is too close. I forgot that you can't do that. But I'm sure they're fine with it. Boom. This is, of course, going to block the airflow a bit. But uh, I'm fine with that. Because uh, we have all this, which is at least 33%. So uh, that's fine with me. Besides, it seems to be going fine. Now, we did uh, get Hurricane. I forget what commander I chose. Probably was Hurricane. But uh, I have no issues with that. <clears throat> and, um... Speaking of no issues, I have a bit of an energy issue right there. Because I, for some reason, in my infinite wisdom, decided to put that there and forget about it for some reason. Um... This guy's building chunky, these guys are building dense, so I think that is a good target, or that is a good target, because this guy's got weapon platforms, and that looks like a big weapon, so, uh, yeah. Let the pain commence, as they say. In no place in particular. Let's see, so, ah, uh, it's there. One of those should make it, yep. And boom, I think we missed, I think it went to the back, where is the, the back of his mines? But uh, I'm not 100% sure, let's see. Oh, it's disabling all of his mines. That is beautiful. And we'll just fire these in sequence so that one does get through. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it would seem that we are off to the races already. But, uh, it's 55 in, and we're shredding, not shredding, but dealing damage, you know what I mean. And, uh, it's pretty fun, I gotta say. Heart suppression. So it's good. Cannon rush, like it. Cannon rush, like it. Not really anything, that's probably the guy that was lagging. some of his mines at least, which are always fun. You know what else is pretty fun? Um, Fleck. Right. Actually, I'm gonna put the smoke man right there because he's less explodey. And uh, let's see how they deal with this with no Fleck. Oh, this guy's got lots of defenses now. I see how it is. Guess what? I got that guy. And uh, I'm about to have lots of flak. So I'm going to put that there. Because I want to stick a flak man right there. And a uh, flak man funny. So. Well, it blocks someone's anti-air, just not that guy's, and he's the one who has the most anti-air. But hey, some of them stuck through, just kidding. So, definitely lower that guy, just a smidge. Only a smidge, don't worry. And we'll put 
this guy right there. And uh, this guy should be on two, but he isn't. I mean, that's better, but I still need to go lower because all of his anti air is still flying. However, I can also just. Boom. Do that. I am going to put some doors on these. Alright, now two. Aim even lower. That is more like it, but still suboptimal, I would say. And I didn't hear an impact, so I'm going to assume there wasn't one. But someone's taking damage. That would be me. Just kidding. Um. Let's see. Yeah, let's repair all that. And it's, who's dying? This guy. He's AFK or not here in the first place. Fire this man as soon as he's up. Mm. Oh shoot, I am on fire. That is swell to hear. And by swell, I mean not swell in the slightest. Why have I not upgraded these guys? don't know. Should have a long time ago. In a galaxy far far away. That's exploded. Oh shoot. I just realized the bad decision I have made. I can't put the fire out. Sniped, but you know what? It'll be fine. Okay, buddy, chillax, my man. Um. Oh, I didn't build any extra mines. That explains it. <laughs> yes, pepper them with bullets. Like that. It's quite fun, really. Bullets peppered. Pepper spray, I'd say. It would be a very gross mi misrepresentation, but it would be said. Boom and boom. Yes. Endless fire. Even though that guy was AFK, you know what? It's fine. Because someone's putting his corpse to good use. And that's good in my book. And hey, I'm killing the top guy, who I'm pretty sure was the uh, guy who, you know, had the lasers. And I don't like lasers. Nope, it wasn't. It was the other guy who just shot me. In the face. Very fun experience. I would definitely recommend it. Ah, uh, the top guy might be AFK, actually. Yeah, he's definitely AFK. I'll let him burn. Which means... Fire this guy a bit lower. And bada bing bada boom, we've got a winner. He can't fire anything. In fact, he's stuck being on fire. 
and then boom, right in his face. I like them at all. Boom, ba boom. I actually feel like I should raise these up a bit. Oh, look at that. You got an energy shield against explosives. I don't think that's how it works, sir. But then again, I'm not the expert here either. Well, apparently, this guy put the fire out. Whatever. He's not much of a threat. Whoa, 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 someone's abusing a glitch, I think. Or they just have a shaky, a shaky base. Yeah, they just have a shaky base. Okay, I thought they were abusing the, uh, thing where you could get the, whatchamacallit, to fire a lot. Like, really shaky. So that it, the fire beam. It was using the portals. You just basically just used portals. Abused portals, I should say. Either way, this man's taking some chunky damage. And he's on fire, which is good in my book. And hey, look at that, he's about to die! No, he isn't. Just kidding, he is. Get out of here. That's one death. About to be two, about to be two. Boom! He sold off anyway, doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the game, I believe. Because this guy, who hasn't been doing anything, will die soon. Due to a rocket spam. And that's the game, folks. 13 minutes in. Um, I did get pretty suppressed in the beginning. But my team came out, and you know what? That's a victory in and of itself. And also, they knew what we were doing, or at least one of us were doing. So, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, anyways, my name has been Demon Eye. Um, this has been a Rocket and the MP Rush tutorial. Um, like the video if you enjoy this kind of content. Subscribe uh, if you wish to see more future uh, tutorials on forts and other strategy games in the future and uh peace